Okay, in this tutorial we're going to look at how to create the um, blue kind of beam coming out the back of a the electric kind of beam thing coming out the back of a um, wipeout car. So um, what we're going to use to do this is P array. Uh, so we're going to use a particle effect coming out the back here to create the impression of uh, this electrical B. So if you come over to the standard primitives tab then select particle systems go to PF source and just click and drag in your viewport. Now if you just wind on the, the time bar you'll see that it's just a bunch of particles falling into space at the moment. <coughs> uh, but if we come over to modify you'll see you've actually got a particle view tab here so just hit that and basically this enables us to control the behavior of these particles so you see we've got all kinds of different options um, and we also have this kind of node based system showing here so basically it's quite easy to understand basically this is all the behavior and attributes of this particle system so we've got when it's being born, when the particles are born, uh, where the actual icon is, the speed of the particles, the rotation of them, the shape of them, and how they display in the viewport. So in display, if I just change this to geometry, you'll see it'll actually change to cubes. And that's because in the shape here, I've got this set to cube by default. So let's just try setting this to spheres and actually kind of increasing size a little bit. So just for this demo we will use spheres like so. Now the next thing we'll want to do, I'll just minimize this, is actually animate this car moving slightly. So I'm just going to turn on animate mode, wind this on to 100 and just move the car like so. And what we could also do actually is move the car to this side a bit and rotate it slightly as well. Maybe even rotate it that way a little bit. So if we make this view big, let's play this. We can see very simple but the car actually just veers off to one side. Okay, so the first problem is that at the moment the at the moment the particles are coming from this object and not the back of the vehicle. So that's the first thing we're going to need to change. So you'll see in our list here we've got position icon and position object. So if we just drag in a position object, this will allow us to use this wipeout vehicle here. So you see we've got a emitter object, so let's just do add and click on the vehicle. So now look straight away the particles are actually coming out of the vehicle. But they're actually coming out from uh, all over the all over the vehicle. So let's go into polygon mode and just select the back here and just see if that changes it. Uh, and you'll notice that it doesn't, but if we come over to location and do selected faces, um, with the back face selected, you'll see that now they're actually coming out of the back of the vehicle. So we're, we're already getting somewhere. And if you come out of edit poly mode, you'll see it stays coming out of there. Okay, so the next thing that's going wrong is they're actually flowing downwards like so, which is obviously not what we want. So if we come over to the speed tab, we actually don't need these particles to be moving at any speed. So let's turn this off. In fact, we could probably just delete that. And now look, the particles are actually just being emitted straight from the back of the vehicle. 
Okay, so the next problem we have is that in our birth, um, they're actually not being produced anymore after this. So you see here we've got an emit star in our birth, on frame, which is frame zero, and an emit stop, which is frame 30. So let's try setting this to 100. Well, in fact, let's put it back to 30, and just to show you, see they're being produced, but when I get to frame 30, it stops producing. So let's put that up to frame 100. And now we're having particles born over the entire duration of the sequence. Okay, so our next problem though is that the particles never vanish. So just to show you what I mean, if I change my time configuration to say n time 300, that's just that little tab down there by the way, you can see the particles remain there indefinitely. So if I just turn on auto key and say up to frame 200, the vehicle takes a sudden and drastic change of amount of pace. This is going to be very, look very bad, but it'll do for now. You can see the vehicle turns there. And the particles are there indefinitely. And also, because our animation is now longer, we need to keep emitting them for longer. Like so. So we'll probably want these particles to die at some point, so the trail doesn't go on for the duration of the track. So the next thing we'll want to add in then is a delete node. So we're just going to drop that in there. <coughs> Pardon me. And we'll see in delete options, it straight away it just deletes all the particles, which isn't what we want. So what we can do is actually do by particle age, and we can actually set a lifespan on these and give that lifespan a variation, which is really useful like smoke and stuff, but really we don't want any variation here. So and now we'll see we've actually got a trail that follows it. Now we might want a longer, let's put it up to say 80. Now we can see we've actually got a trail that follows out the back of the car. So if we zoom in a bit closer we can really see what's going on. So that trail is now coming out the back of the car like so. It's going to fix the rotation of this a bit. It's better. Okay, so another problem is we haven't really got many particles. So because we have increased the um, length of time they're being produced, we also need to increase the amount. So I'm going to put it up to say 2,000. That's looking a bit better. So um, let's have a look at the motion now. And that's looking okay. I'm reasonably happy with that. So we're really starting to get somewhere with this. Um, now one thing is, the wipeout beam might actually be quite flat in a similar way to the Tron one. So what you might want to do is actually kind of tweak this face a little bit. So if I go to local, I'm just, now I'll go back to local again, I'm literally just going to pull this right in. There we go, now we're really starting to get this trail coming out of the back of this, like so. Okay, so once you've actually got this motion completed, um, next comes the most important part of any kind of particle system, and that's the actual material of it. So what we're going to drop in is a material dynamic. So we're going to drag this in and put this below the shape. Now this will allow us to assign a material to these particles and that's what we're going to do in the next part of the tutorial, actually create this material for this beam that we've made.